Today we play Mario Party Superstars, but you always have a triple dice block. We'll play in Peach's birthday cake because the star is always in the same spot, so it's really important that you roll big numbers. We'll be playing with an easy CPU, a hard CPU, and a master CPU, so we can see who will be the luckiest. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Wow, you folks have got a lot of triple dice blocks. Mushroom Head has a funny hat. Hey, get back here! Ah, forget about him! Let's do what I love best! Have you ever played triple dice block mode? Mushroom Head decides the turn order! That's right! I decide the turn order! And you'll all be starting with more coins! Toad gives us an extra ten coins and he says, Nice! This should be a fun challenge! Good luck with those big numbers! It's the first turn of the game and right from the start Toad says, You can use the item you just got! Do you want to give it a try? And mm. even though everyone has three triple dice blocks, there's also a mushroom that shows up for some reason. So normally you can only hold three items, so it's kind of surprising that a fourth item does show up there. Hopefully the CPUs yeah. don't choose to use the mushroom. We are going to be using the triple dice block every turn, okay? Two great starts so far. Three, okay, fantastic, and nine. Okay, at least we rolled more than a 10, okay? So we start off with a 14. And since everyone is starting off with more coins than normal, ah, uh, and too bad we just missed the piranha plan. The interesting thing is that you can roll big enough to reach Toadette right from the start of the game, and we can also afford the stars. So let's see, Luigi gets nine, two, and one. Okay, not a humongous roll, just a 12. Wait, what did I roll? I think I rolled 14. Ah, uh, Luigi gets to go over here. Now then, what kind of piranha plant is he going to plant? Okay, he just plants a normal strawberry over here. Since we're starting off with 69 coins, it might even be worth it to plant the big piranha plants right at the start. What about Birdo? Here's our easy CPU. Okay, good. She's not using the mushroom. That's amazing. I'm glad she's not using the mushroom. 10, one, and nine, a 20. That's the biggest roll so far. I wonder if we will get a triple 10. Triple 10 is, I guess, one in a thousand chance because it's one in 10 times one in 10 times one in 10. So getting triple 10s is a one in 10 chance. Getting triple any specific number is one in a thousand chance, but getting any triple chance, like triple one or triple two or triple three and so on is a one in a hundred chance. Yoshi chooses to use the mushroom instead of the triple dice block for some reason. Okay, and he gets a six plus that, so he gets 11. So the mushrooms do show up when you have all triple dice blocks like this. So maybe sometimes the CPUs will use mushrooms. Hopefully they don't do it very much. We will be using the triple dice block every single turn. Even if it would be better. Okay, okay, messy memory, okay. Egg Luigi, Banana Peach win. DK Mushroom Mario Fly Hammer. DK Mushroom Mario Fly Hammer. DK Mushroom Mario Fly Hammer. Okay, let's see. DK Mushroom Mario Fly Hammer is the bottom. DK, let's see. DK Mushroom Mario Fly Hammer. Okay, then over here, Wario is on the far right. Then I think maybe Banana was in the middle and Peach was over there. I think that's the way that it goes. I think I'm remembering that correctly. Let's see, if everyone closes the curtains, does the mini game end? Okay, let's see how Birdo does. Will you close the curtains, Birdo? Oh, Luigi! Oh, Luigi tried to switch something at the very last second over there! Oh my goodness! And let's see, I think we got a perfect score. Wow! Luigi actually almost switched correctly at the very end. He could have gotten a perfect score if he had time to put the Wario hat in the top right. That was so close. It's actually so funny to see someone getting nine points because it's an odd amount of points. Like very often if you have something in the wrong spot, that means that you'll also have something else in the wrong spot. So you'll get like eight, six, or four, or so on. Kind of weird to see a score of nine. It's just because one of them weren't placed down. Okay. So we still do have our three triple dice blocks, but we also have the mushroom. We're not using the mushrooms. We are only using triple dice blocks. Please reach the star. We're nine away. Seven, so it's guaranteed, even if we get double ones now. Five and four. Okay, not bad, not bad. Sixteen. Pretty cool to be getting big rolls like this. Like, every single turn, we can get up to thirty. It really makes the board feel a lot smaller when you can get big rolls like this. It's kind of sad that nobody got the star on the first turn. Hold on. I don't think you could pass by the star twice in a single turn, can you? Oh, nice, we're passing by the shop. You know what? I was thinking... Okay, let's not buy anything. Oh, you know what? I should have bought a mushroom because there might be a bonus star for most items purchased. I actually forgot about that. I was thinking of buying items but not using them. Ah, I should have done that. I should have done that. I actually forgot about that. But yeah, I was thinking of editing this board so that you pass by the shop and Toad doesn't sell you anything. 
But I wanted to leave the shop open to see if the CPUs would buy anything, because if the CPUs do choose to buy something from the shop, then what'll end up happening is their items will just be replaced with triple dice blocks again. Okay, so Luigi gets his next one. Oh, he doesn't reach the shop, so we don't get to see this turn. Unless someone else reaches the shop. Okay, but Luigi gets a hidden block. Okay, but it's just coins, that's all right. How do I have so many more coins than Luigi? Oh wait, is it because of the mini game? It's probably because of the mini game, right? That makes sense. Okay, Birdo is using a star, or not a star, a mushroom here. That's so sad, so sad. Why are you using the mushroom, Birdo? That's so sad. Just use the triple dice block, Birdo. So sad. Okay, it's turn two, and almost everyone has a star. So we can see that this is probably going to be a pretty close game until the end of the game. I'm guessing towards the end of the game, the people who win more mini games, they'll be able to break farther out. Oh, but it also depends so much on the luck of the Goomba Lottery and the luck of the Triple Dice Block. Man, I don't know if this adds more luck or removes luck from this. Okay, but Yoshi gets a 14 over here, so he's passing by the star over here. Everyone has at least one star, and it's only turn two of the game. This is something you don't see very often in Peach's birthday cake. I wonder how many total stars we're going to have by the end of the game. Like, how many stars everyone in total is going to have, because we all started with a pretty high coin count. We all started with 69 coins instead of 10 coins. Okay, Manner of Escape. This one's kind of luck-based, so hopefully we can do a good job at finding the right door quickly. Okay, let's go into Start. this first door first. Let's try it. Let's see. Okay, we didn't get it. Okay, Birdo got it. Birdo went to the far left, so it's the far left door. Now let's see. Birdo getting the right door now? No. Nope. Okay, so it's not that door. Not that door. Okay, so it has to be this door. We know that it's this door. That's the only option. Now let's see. Where are we going? Okay, it's not that one. It's got to be one of these outer ones. Let's see. Is it that one? Okay, it's not that one, so we know it's this one. Okay, now we need to find which door is going to be the final one. Yes! Okay! How did Luigi know to come in after me? Oh my goodness! That's weird! It's like Luigi knew that that was the right door, but we still ended up beating him. That's crazy. If that wasn't the door, he could have gone one door to the left, and maybe that would have been the one, and he could have won. So I definitely got lucky with the ending there. Oh! Oh! And I didn't even realize that we weren't in first place. Birdo was ahead of us. I guess Birdo got some coins from the lucky space. I was doing commentary. I wasn't paying too much attention to what Birdo got. Yeah, it's a close game so far. I have to be careful to not just roll normally. Oh, and I'm 18 from the start. So it's possible that we reach the star this turn again. 10? 10? Give me a third 10. Triple 10s would be amazing. One in a thousand chance of getting triple 10s. But right now, it's a one in 10 chance of my next roll being a 10. Ah, five. Ah, it's so sad, so sad. Not triple 10s. I hope that we do get some triple numbers. Because hold on, in total, we get roughly four triple dices per turn because not everyone might use a triple dice. So there are 10 turns, so that's roughly 40 rolls of triple dices and there's roughly a one in a hundred chance of getting all three numbers to match up so there's like a bit oh my goodness and i land here oh my goodness of all the spots that i could have landed i end up making it all the way around the board and paying 10 coins to luigi like that that puts him up into oh second place not first place birdo's actually in first place okay let's see is luigi gonna buy something from the shop okay he's of course using his triple dice block oh i don't know if i finished this thought so we have a bit less than a 50 50 chance of seeing someone get all three of the same number. Triple sevens or triple tens would be really cool. Triple ones would be pretty funny too. Okay, Luigi pays coins for a custom dice block. Is he gonna throw something away? Let's see what happens. Wow, the, uh, the custom dice block didn't even show up. It just showed three triple dice blocks and the mushroom. And he tried to throw away a triple dice block, but he just kept the triple dice block. So he just wasted his coins. So if you buy coins, or sorry, not if you buy coins, if you buy an item, you're basically wasting coins. Okay, so Luigi's coming down this way, lands on a Bowser space, uh-oh. And Luigi is already in fourth place. So let's see what he's gonna have here. Any good luck, bad luck maybe? Let's see. What's it gonna be? 15 coins to Bowser. Luigi's starting to run low on points, down to 30 coins. He can still afford the next star, and he might reach it next turn. But yeah, he's not hes not gonna be able to afford a lot. Wait, why wouldn't you use any item at all, Birdo? Maybe Birdo wanted to land on the event space. Birdo's like, ah, don't wanna accidentally pass this event panel here. Okay, what about Yoshi? You're gonna use the triple dice block, right, bro? Right, bro? Good, good, use the triple dice block. It's like, all CPUs, ju they just won't- Oh, are we gonna get triple sixes? Ah, six, six, and one. Triple sixes would be another scary one. Okay, do you buy an item, Yoshi? 
spends 12 coins on a custom dice block, but he's not going to be able to keep it. Look what's going to happen when he buys this item. You don't even see the custom dice block. He throws away a triple dice block, but he still keeps it. Okay, so let's see what's happening at the flower lottery over here. Is Yoshi going to take the Bowser path, which will get him to the star sooner? No, he gets the flower path, so he has to take the long but safer way around. And he also get 10 coins for passing by the Koopa Troopa. Oh, are you going to plant something here, Yoshi? Let's see. Okay, Yoshi plants something small here. Plants a small piranha plant. I'm surprised that I haven't landed on any event spaces yet. Or, well, I did land on one event space to pay Luigi. But I haven't landed on a space where I could plant my own piranha plant yet. Wow, everyone's red, so it's a free-for-all minigame. Let's see what the minigame is. Mario's Puzzle Party. Okay, let's do the only tap-up strategy, and let's see how that works. Should I press the A button or move left and right at all? Or should I just repeatedly tap like this? I'll just repeatedly tap up. Let's see if maybe we could get some nice combos like this. Let's see. No combos yet. Oh, okay, there. We got a four there. Let's see. Squishing that down. Okay, now let's see. Are we going to get any nice combos? Maybe. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. We're at 14. Luigi is dominating right now. He's at 60 right now. Oh, we're coming back a little bit. 38. Right now, if the game ends, we'd be in second. Okay, let's see. Okay, got a few combos there. Luigi's still ahead, though. How's this going? How's this going? We might get full, actually. Yeah, we are getting a lot of these blocks over here, which isn't good. Let's see. Luigi still is a little ahead. This is so close. Oh, is, this is so close. This is so close. This is going to come down to who can get some combos. Luigi's almost there. Luigi wins. Good job, Luigi. Sometimes using an actual strategy is better than just tapping up. Sometimes just tapping up is good. Sometimes doing absolutely nothing is the best strategy of all. Birdo's in first place, and Birdo still has 69 coins. Birdo's had 69 coins for a while. Okay, let's do this. Triple dice block. 10 away from this star. I hope we could reach. 7, 4. Okay, so we do reach. And 2. Not a very big number, just a 13. On average, you should roll about 16 or 17 with the triple dice block. The average roll in total is about 16 and a half so anything below that is a below average roll and anything above that is an above average roll let's see and we get a double dice oh wait but we're gonna have to uh, throw away an item and let's see what the options are is double dice even gonna show up no double dice doesn't even show up what if we try and throw away the mushroom try and throw away the mushroom but we are still going to have the mushroom i bet which is weird okay luigi's 23 away he might reach this turn and he's about to pass by the Koopa Troopa. Eight, eight, still possible. And seven, that gives him the exact number that he needs. Oh my goodness, he's just making it to the start. And he gets another 10 coins from this Koopa Troopa. His coins are starting to, you know, get back up there. Look at this. He's getting a second star. So two of us have two stars now. Birdo and Yoshi, can they reach the star this turn? Or are Mario and Luigi staying ahead? It's kind of funny that the master CPU is in second place. Like, he's so close behind. I'm in first place. But let's see how these others do. Because it's funny, because for a while... Okay, and Birdo's just using a mushroom now. Kind of silly. Yeah, it rolls just a 3 plus 5, so that's an 8. And Birdo was 24 away, so that was only one farther back than Luigi. So it could have been possible for Birdo to reach the star if Birdo used the triple dice block. Whoa! Birdo takes the first big risk of the game, paying 30 coins for a big strawberry over here. If anyone lands there, a star is stolen and a star goes to Birdo. That's a little scary. And everyone does have stars, so that's pretty scary. Okay, Yoshi rolls seven, one, and five. If he got seven, ten, and ten, then he would have just reached the star, but he doesn't reach the star. He gets ten coins for passing by the Koopa Troopa. He doesn't land on Birdo's spot, does he? Just passed it. Oh my goodness. If Yoshi got one or two lower, then he would have had to give a star to Birdo, and that would have been very scary. Okay, everyone versus Birdo now. Birdo's an easy CPU. There's no way we lose this minigame. There's no way we can lose this minigame, right? Right? We've got a master CPU, a hard CPU, and I. All versus an easy CPU. There's no way we lose, right? Come on, Birdo. Let's go. Okay, the master CPU got pushed back a bit. I got pushed back. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's just go, let's go, let's go. Still got a lot of time to go. Okay, about halfway through the time. Let's see. They both got pushed back by that. Oh, I got pushed back by the next one. Okay, how are you guys doing? Everyone's okay. Everyone, let's just stay close. Okay, and time's almost up. Very nice. Uh-oh. Okay, I got pushed back, but nobody was knocked off, so everybody is okay. Very nice. Okay, so we all get 10 coins for that. Man, this game is... A lot more close than I expected. Everyone having triple dice blocks 
kind of does even out the game, especially, you know what? You know what I think evens out the game even more than everyone having triple dice blocks? Okay, 22 away. So let's see, let's see. Give me some big numbers. Give me 10, 10, 10. Three, nine, and 10. Wait a minute, that's 22. That's exactly what we need. Okay, okay, and let's do this. Let's buy an item. We will buy a mushroom, but we're not going to uh, keep that mushroom. We're gonna throw it away, of course. And even if we try to throw away one of our triple dice blocks, we still do have three triple dice blocks, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and I think there's only one seed left, right? Wait, 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 but we might have to pay coins to Bowser as we pass by Bowser. Hopefully Bowser doesn't take more than 25 coins. If Bowser takes like 28 coins or something, that'd be so sad. Okay, because let's see, because we are going to be passing by Toadette this turn, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Please don't take away a lot of coins. How many? How many? 20 coins! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's a huge amount of coins, but it's still okay. All right, okay, so we still can afford this star, which is pretty great. So that's nice. It's turn five, and we're just able to afford another star over here. Three stars in five turns on Peach's birthday cake. That's pretty good. Gotta say, that's not bad. Not as good as my video where everyone starts with 99 stars and 999 coins, but pretty good, pretty good. Okay, what about Luigi? It's also possible that uh, Luigi reaches. If he gets 25 and he gets the Bowser path, then he also gets to the start. Oh no, but it's impossible for him now. Three, seven, and one. So just an 11. Below average roll. Small roll, not reaching the star. Buying an item. Spends 12 coins. If only the CPUs knew better. If only they knew that spending that many coins they're not, they're not even going to get to keep the item that they're buying. If they want to get the bonus star for most items purchased, then they might as well buy the cheapest item. Just buy a mushroom or buy a cursed dice block because you're not going to be able to keep the item anyways. But unfortunately, the CPUs don't know the rules of this game. Alright, so Luigi gets the flower path, heads down here, goes to a lucky space. I actually can't afford the next star. So if I reach the star next turn, if I get the Bowser path, I won't be able to afford this star, which is kind of scary. Even if I win the mini game. Let's see, Birdo is using the triple dice block now. 16 to the star, seven needs, okay, four needs five more, and a one, not reaching. Birdo doesn't reach this star. Birdo falls a little bit short, lands on a lucky space though, gets 10 more coins. So Birdo's doing pretty good in terms of coins over here. That puts Birdo up into third. Yoshi's in last place over here, but Something that we have to be aware of is that Birdo has a scary strawberry plant planted. Six, six, and five! So close to triple sixes, oh my goodness. And if you get all three numbers being the same, then I think you get a coin bonus, if I remember correctly. Okay, Yoshi purchases a second star over here, leaving Birdo the easy CPU in last place. But Things can very quickly turn around if someone lands on Birdo's strawberry plant, which steals a star if you land there. And since we're using triple dice blocks, we could land on that big piranha plant from almost anywhere in the board, which is pretty scary. And our next mini game is Pushy Penguins. I'm expecting that Birdo will fall off, Yoshi might fall off, Luigi might fall off. Hopefully we can survive. Let's stay back a bit. Don't want to stay right at the front. It's nice to stay back a bit. So you can look at where the openings are and try to get to the openings. Like you don't want to get stuck between the penguins. Yeah, there goes, oh, I was gonna say Peach because I saw something pink fall. But yeah, there goes Birdo. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see. Squeeze through there and through there, okay. Everyone's doing all right so far. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I almost got sucked in. Wow, Luigi actually fell before Yoshi did. That's kind of surprising. Oh no, wow, wow, I just squeezed through there. Okay, so Yoshi and I were actually the ones that survived. The master CPU did better, or sorry, the hard CPU did better than the master CPU. That sometimes does happen. All right, oh, and that was a bonus minigame, so that's actually great that we got plus 20 coins for that, but we still won't be able to afford the start if we have to pass by Bowser. So once we get to the last five turns, and it's so funny seeing everyone with triple dice blocks here, but once we get to the last five turns, there is someone who comes and makes a prediction about who's going to win, and they give them a prize. And normally, I think, please don't give them a gold pipe, but over here, ah, oh, they give them coins. That's the worst thing to give Birdo here. Oh my goodness. I was kind of hoping that they'd actually give them an item, because if you give Birdo an item, then they don't get to keep the item. But if you give them coins, they actually do get to keep the coins. Okay, so 25 away from the star right now. I actually kind of don't want a 25. Okay, so I know we're not getting, okay, three, three, and five. Nobody has gotten all three numbers being the same yet. We've been close a few times. 
Okay, updated inventory. So triple dice blocks are for sale now. It'd be so funny seeing a CPU buying a triple dice block. But I really don't think that they will do that because they already do have triple dice blocks. If anything, I think they might continue to buy custom dice blocks or buy nothing. Yeah, let's throw away that mushroom. We don't want that mushroom. Even though you automatically do keep that mushroom. Okay, so let's see. We pay 10 coins. Now, are we going to take the Bowser path? Or the flower path, because if we take the Bowser path, we have to give some coins to Bowser. It's going to be really hard to afford the star, so let's see. That's actually kind of unlucky. That's actually pretty unlucky that we're going there. Because, yeah, we lose six coins here. We're going to lose some coins as we pass by Bowser. We're probably passing by the star next turn, actually. And we won't be able to afford it. Okay, Luigi gets one, two, and ten. Okay, okay, I thought it was going to be a tiny roll, but hey, thirteen. That's not bad. He gets 10 more coins for passing by this Koopa Troopa. Passing by that Koopa Troopa now would be nice. That was one turn where I was actually hoping that I would get the flower path. Getting the flower path there would have been great. Okay, Birdo. If she gets triple ones, she doesn't reach the star. Okay, Birdo's passing by the star. Nine, nine, and eight! Everyone gets so close to all three numbers being the same. Wait, can Birdo buy two stars this turn? Birdo might be able to buy two stars this turn, because that was a pretty big number, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Birdo still has 20-something left. Okay, passing by the item shop. Spends 12 coins! Okay, 12 coins on a custom dice block that you can't even keep, because your first three item slots are triple dice blocks. Okay, she throws away the mushroom. Smart move. Now then, is she going to get the Bowser path or the other one? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, if it's the Bowser Path, that's crazy good luck. She might be able to buy two stars in this turn. Let's see. Flower Path, oh, that's so sad. But if she passed by Bowser, Bowser might have taken too many coins and Birdo might have not actually been able to afford this star. So Birdo's probably even luckier that she went this way. And let's see. Lane's on here. Are you going to plant another big one or a little one? Let's see. Just a little one this time. Okay, but up ahead, Birdo's got a big one over there, and that's scary. You don't want to land on that big one, because then one of your stars goes to Birdo if that happens. Okay, what about Yoshi? Where are you going, bro? Where are you going, Yoshi, my bro? Yoshi, bro, is using the triple dice block. 22 away from the star. Four, three, okay, can't reach this turn. And nine. Still pretty big, though. 16. And are you buying something? Spends 12 coins. These CPUs are so silly. They don't realize that they can't keep the items that they buy. That's actually so funny that this keeps happening. They spend 12 coins on an item and throw it away. The smarter thing to do would be just buy the cheapest thing possible. A mushroom or a cursed dice block and throw that away. So that way you're buying an item. You're making progress towards getting the most items purchased bonus star. And you're also spending the least coins to do so. Okay. Yoshi gets a flower path, so he heads down here. Lands on a Bowser space, though. This might be... Bowser coin revolution would be perfect, because I have the fewest coins, and my coins would get boosted. That would be amazing. Please be Bowser revolution. That is that too much to ask for? Lose one star, Yoshi! I'm so sorry, bro. He goes down from second place to fourth place, losing a star at Bowser. If Yoshi rolled a number that made him give his other star to Birdo, that would be extra sad. Okay, Yoshi's on my team for this minigame. Hopefully we can play well. Handcar Havoc, okay. We want to mash A, but you don't want to mash too hard. If you mash too hard, you actually fall off the track. So we've got to be careful. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Be careful here. Let's be careful here. Don't fall off. Nice. We didn't fall off. That's great. Now then, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Don't want to fall off. Don't want to go too fast also because uh, we are quite a bit ahead of them. So we don't have to speed up like crazy actually. Okay. But that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And yeah, pretty slow time. 26.72. Almost a full second slower than my best time. But we do it. Wait a minute. They are stopped while going uphill. Birdo looked so sad there. Such a sad Birdo. So sad. Okay, we are in first place, but I don't know how long we'll be able to keep that for. Okay, four turns are left. We are one coin short of affording the star, and we're going to be passing by Bowser, and we're probably passing by the star. You know, this is actually a case where I want less than 14. Okay, three. Keep giving me small numbers. Four. Okay, so if we get six or less, that's amazing. Give me six or less, please. Yes! Okay! Okay, that's fantastic. Wait, do I land on the Bowser space? Okay, 20 coins. Bowser takes all my coins. Oh my goodness. 
We might not be able to afford the start anyways. Okay, what's happening here? Let's see, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. And we land on... A lucky space! Okay, this is amazing. Give me 15 coins, 20 coins, 10 coins. Ah, uh, please give me 10. Please give me 10. Please give me 10. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's about just as good. That's about just as good. Oh, Luigi is using a mushroom instead of a triple dice block. That's actually such a smart thing to do because that guarantees that he doesn't land on the Birdo space. But it's kind of cheap that he's using a mushroom instead of a triple dice block. Oh, and he chooses to not grow it. That's interesting. And you guys might have seen for a second there, one of those triple dices, it became a mushroom for just a second at Luigi over there. Okay, Birdo, four, nine, and four. Okay, so she's not reaching the star, but she's getting close. Oh, and there are also duels now because it's the last five turns, but I have no coins, so I can't duel anyways. Birdo, what do you get here? Ten more coins, okay. Is Birdo? Birdo moves up to second place. The easy CPU is in second place, and the master CPU is in third. That's kind of funny. The hard CPU, Yoshi's being very unlucky right now. Let's see, two, eight, and three, thirteen. Where are you landing? Are you landing on someone's piranha spot, maybe? Let's see, probably not losing a star. I think he's making it past that. Ah, uh, he is making it past that, giving some coins to Luigi. That might bring Luigi, the master CPU, back into second. Let's see, how many coins? Eight. Yeah, so Luigi's going to be back in, uh, back in second place now, passing Birdo over here. Kind of funny that you're playing with an easy CPU, a master CPU, and a hard CPU, and the master CPU isn't always doing the best. Sometimes the easy CPU is actually doing better. Okay, it is so, so important that I win this minigame. It is incredibly important that I win this minigame. I can't stress that enough. Let's see. So just go for Luigi over here. Very nice. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let's go. Where's Yoshi? Where's Yoshi? Don't shoot me, Yoshi. Don't shoot me, Yoshi. Nope! Oh! Oh! No! No, 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 no! Don't shoot me, bro! Don't shoot me, bro! Birdo, Birdo! No, 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 no! Birdo, where are you, Birdo? I've gotta run from you. I've gotta run from you. Oh my goodness. I was so nervous there. And there we go! Oh my goodness, there were so many close moments. That was probably my scariest game of Tread Carefully ever. And it was so important that we win this minigame. Because now that we won that, we have 10 coins. We can buy the star because we have star half off. If I didn't win that minigame, we would have passed by the star without being able to afford it. And the other CPUs probably would have taken over in first place. So that is incredible. Wait, how far away are we? Far away. Okay, so as long as we don't get triple ones, we reach the star. So there's literally a one in a thousand chance that we don't reach the star. Okay, good, good. We reached the star dice. Five, two, and three. Not even a very big number. A ten. Still a below average roll. Okay, so let's see. Get the star. Wait, are we passing by the shop? Because we have no coins, so we're not going to be able to buy anything else. So let's see where we land. I don't know where this takes us. But there we go. Four stars. How nice is that? Okay, we make it just past the event space. We get six coins, and we're right before the shop. Should I buy a mushroom or curse dice block when I pass by the shop? I, I kind of hope Luigi lands on me. Oh. Okay, he is passing by the star. He does reach the star. But let's see, does he pass me? I'm not sure if he passes me or lands on me. If he lands on me and he duels me for six coins and I win, it would be nice to have another six coins, because right now my coins are running low. So any few coins that I can get is fantastic for me. Okay, let's see. Ah, he makes it just past me. He's one spot past me. Okay. And he wastes 12 coins on a custom dice block. It's so sad that I actually didn't buy a mushroom the first time that I passed by the shop. Because this means that I'm probably not getting the bonus star for most items purchased. Oh my goodness, Birdo is three away, rolls of one. If you use the triple dice block or the mushroom, you would have had a guaranteed star. Yoshi's ten away, let's see if he could reach with a triple dice block. He gets two, he needs an eight now. Five, he needs a three. He gets a one, he also doesn't reach. Oh my Wait, does he land on Birdo? He lands on Birdo, there's a duel. Easy CPU versus hard CPU. Who is going to win this one? 46 coins! Yoshi's playing big over here! Wait, this means Birdo might not be able to afford the star now if Birdo loses. Let's see. I'm guessing Yoshi wins, because he's a hard CPU versus an easy CPU. Yeah, Yoshi of course wins. He gets a lot of coins. Yoshi only has one star, so it's actually kind of nice that the coins are being redistributed that way. And he gets six more for landing on the blue. But man, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have a free-for-all minigame because everyone landed on blue. If I could win this minigame, that'd be kind of nice. 
And, I oh, even better, even better. Okay, let's pay attention and let's get a lot of coins. Okay, so we don't want to open the bomb ones. We don't want to open the punch ones. Just one coins. Okay, so coins, coins, punch. Okay, coins, coins. Okay, then lots of punches. Lots of punches. Okay, coin bag and then empty. Okay, coin bag. Okay. All right, then it's coins and coins and then bomb. Okay, so coins, coins, then bomb, coins, bad, coins, 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 then it's punch, coins, coins, punch, and money bag. Okay, I think we played that perfectly. Wow, Luigi got 19. He did pretty good. If his conveyor belt had the exact same amount of coins as me, then that means that he only missed what? Then that means that he only missed one. That's pretty good. Birdo is one coin short for the star. That is so sad. Oh my goodness, that's so sad for Birdo. Okay, last two turns. I don't know if we'll be able to get another star. If we get the flower path, we might be able to get it. Let's see. Five, seven, and seven. Okay, not a triple seven. That's kind of sad. Do I take a mushroom? You know what? I'll take a mushroom. I'll do it. I'll take a mushroom. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm taking a mushroom. Let's see. And I'll try and throw away a triple dice block even though we can't. Now let's see. Flower would be amazing. Bowser would be sad. Let's see what we get. What do we get? Let's see. 50-50 chance. Usu it's funny that usually I want Bowser. Okay, and now we get Bowser. The one or two times that we don't want Bowser are the times that we actually get Bowser. Because now Bowser's gonna take some more coins from us. Probably all of our coins, yeah. 15 coins. We give away all of our coins. And wait, do we get an item for that? Cursed Dice Block? We can't even keep it. Okay, so we are all out of- Wait, are we passing by this star? I'm not sure if we're passing by this star. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, where do we go? We are just passing by this star! That's so sad! Oh my goodness. Okay. So if we get a humongous roll next turn, oh wait, no, but even if we pass by Bowser, we wouldn't be able to afford this star, so that's very sad. Okay, Luigi uses just a mushroom instead of a triple dice block for some reason. And if Luigi gets Bowser, if he gets the Bowser flower right now, he might be able to get a star next turn, and he might win the game if that happens, because then he would be in first place. Okay, but he gets the flower path. So it is all going to come down, probably all going to come down to the bonus start. We still have to see- Oh, oh, chance time! What's going to happen here? Let's see. What are you going to do? Master CPU at chance time. He could probably make whatever he wants happen. Okay, Luigi and Yoshi, what do they do? Luigi gets to- Okay, never mind about the Master CPU being able to do whatever he wants. Master CPU is giving 20 coins to Yoshi. Yoshi's getting pretty rich. I wonder if Yoshi would get the rich bonus bonus star, because he's collected a lot of coins. Hey, okay, Birdo's five or two away, rolls a five. But one coin short for the star. That's so sad for Birdo. If Birdo got one more coin during X-ray payday, or if the previous turn, if Birdo used an item, Birdo could have guaranteed reach that star and Birdo would have had three stars right now and Birdo would have been in first place actually okay Yoshi uses his mushroom here instead of the triple dice block because he's a cheater so that gives him a seven he's passing by the star he would have had a guaranteed star either way now let's see where is he going to land that's Yoshi's second star now because he well it's technically his third star because he lost one star to Bowser earlier on nobody landed on Birdo's big piranha plant though someone might there's still one turn left to the game Oh, that's so funny, Yoshi just slides down on his belly like that. If someone lands on that piranha plant up there, then they give a star to Birdo, and that can really turn around the game and change the game. But for now, we have Storm Chasers. Let's try and do as best as we can in this mini game. Let's collect these. Where are you going, Storm? Hey, Storm, come here. Come here, Cloud. Nice. I like that rain. Let's go. Come here. Yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, no, 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 not over here. Yes, give me that rain. No, 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 come back here, come back here. Come over here. Okay, go fast, go fast. No, don't go slow that way. No, 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 bad cloud. Come here, cloud. Yes, very nice. You know what? I don't think that Luigi did too well there. I don't think that Luigi played amazingly there. I don't know if anybody really played well at all there. 
Yeah, look at that! The easy CPU beat the master CPU this time. What is going on? Birdo, where was your good mini game playing last turn where it was very important for you? My goodness. Okay, but anyone can win this. I might even land on Birdo's big piranha plant down there. I really hope that I don't, but I have to use a triple dice block because I said I'm using a triple dice block every turn. It would be safer to not use it, but I've got to use it. Two, six, and nine. That's kind of big. I don't know if that takes us to the piranha plant. I hope it doesn't. Okay, let's see. We're passing by the Bowser lottery. No matter what, we can't afford a star, so let's just see. I'll pick the first seed, the default seed. Let's see where that takes us. Will I get Bowser Flower three times in a row, or will I get Happy Flower? Happy Flower this time, okay. Please tell me we don't reach Birdo's big piranha plant. Please tell me we don't. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! I landed on chance time. Not only am I dueling Luigi, but I landed on chance time. Okay, let's do this. Six coins. Let's go, let's go. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's see. I'm, I'm not even super worried about this duel. The duel's only for six coins. What I'm very focused on is, uh, what is going to happen when it's chance time? That's what I'm more worried about. Let's see. Can I make that? Oh, no, I couldn't. I took the risk, but I couldn't make it. Jump! Oh, man, I couldn't. I couldn't. Now Luigi's ahead. That's not good. I shouldn't have taken that risk. Let's go like this. Now Luigi's ahead. Let's see. Will we be able to catch- Oh, we already caught up to him. That's crazy. He's not playing amazingly then. Yeah, I didn't play perfectly. I made a big mistake. Oh, I've got to wait for another swing. Let's go. Jump! Oh, man, I took another risk. Oh, man, that would have been the- Oh, cool, I could jump. I, I was gonna say that would have been the perfect time to jump, but I was actually able to jump. I'm so surprised that we won that. Luigi's a master CPU. I made, like, three big, big mistakes in that, but we still won. Maybe Luigi's also nervous about what's going to be happening in chance time here. Because let's see, we are on chance time. It could be like swap stars with somebody. Oh man, I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to pick the characters first and then the middle block just so it gets very exciting. Okay, let's see. Let's try and make it us too. Okay, so after Yoshi, there we go. So it's me and what's happening? Me and Luigi. All right, what's happening with me and Luigi? If I'm giving him stars... That's horrible. If he gives me stars, that's great. If it's switch coins, that's not that big of a deal. Don't be stars to the left. Don't be stars to the left. No, bro, no! No, swap stars and coins on the final turn. No, bro, what's gonna happen here? Oh boy, Mario was happy about getting one extra coin, but then we swapped stars, oh man. So now I need more bonus stars to win. Okay, Luigi just rolls a seven. Where does that take him? Oh, and he gets an extra 10 coins. So I actually need more bonus stars than Luigi to win. He lands on a blue. Even if I win the mini game, he still has more coins than me. Let's see what happens here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Birdo uses the triple dice block three. Doesn't even really matter what Birdo does here. A 12. Yeah, passing by there, going to the flower lottery. Unless Birdo, like, also lands on chance time. That's the only thing that could really change this around. But man, man, I am super, super curious to see what's going to happen here. Luigi might actually win this. He got so lucky with that chance time. Oh, man. I could have played it safe with the chance time. I could have tried to make it not me or not Luigi on the chance time. But I got to make it interesting for the viewers because we don't know who's going to win this now. We don't know if it's going to be me who wins, Luigi who wins, or even one of the CPUs. Uh, Yoshi might actually get both bonus stars and win. Just got to keep it interesting for the audience like this. Got to take a risk, especially in a last turn chance time like this. Got to keep it interesting because you don't know who's going to win. Oh, wait. Uh, there's no point in planting anything because you're the... Uh, bro, there's literally no point in doing that at all. It's the final turn and you're the final character to go. Why would you do that, Yoshi? You're just wasting coins. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to win the mini game. Okay, everyone versus Yoshi. So if we win, it's like Luigi also gets coins, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, River Raiders. So we could try our best, but it doesn't matter because however many coins we get, Luigi also gets that many coins. So it's all going to come down to the bonus stars if we want to beat Luigi. Let's see. Oh, nice. He doesn't get that money back. We get it. Uh, Yoshi, why are you driving into all the logs? What's going on here? Okay, I'll take that one. Nice. Kind of want to get that money back. Let's see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Bro! Uh, maybe I actually pushed him into that a little bit. Uh, so sad, so sad. Gonna have another five coins. And you know what? It's actually kind of important that we do well here because Yoshi got a lot of coins from a duel. So is the master CPU actually going to win? Is the easy CPU going to be in last place or is the hard CPU going to be in last place? It all depends on the bonus stars. I think I actually need both bonus stars to win. So let's see. What's the first bonus? Rich bonus. That's either me or Yoshi. If that's me, then that's great. Let's see. Let's see. It's Yoshi! It's Yoshi! I wonder if we got that extra five coins in the previous minigame, if we would have passed Yoshi. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how close that was. Now, if Yoshi gets this bonus star, Yoshi does still win. Yoshi would come back from like third or fourth place to first, so I'm kind of hoping Slowpoke bonus. I don't know who that is. That might- I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me because we got some pretty big rolls. If it's Yoshi, Yoshi wins. Let's see who it is. Who is it? Birdo! Okay, Birdo got the least. The easy CPU got the lowest rolls. I have no idea what the ranking is. We might actually be in last place. I have no idea what the ranking is. Let's see, let's see. Who's in last? I have no idea who it is. Birdo's in last. Okay, easy CPU's in last. Wow, we are in third. That's kind of surprising. Okay, and then I think Yoshi is second and Luigi is first, right? Yeah, okay. Wow, that's actually very surprising that at the end of the game, it turned out this way. The master CPU does win. The easy CPU is in last place and the hard CPU is in the middle. Even though at so many points throughout the game, it didn't seem like that would happen. That is what happened. We were actually almost in last place here. We were so close to being in last place. If the two bonus stars were most spaces traveled and most red spaces, then Mario still actually would have won that even after that very unlucky chance slime in the final turn. But it looks like Luigi got really lucky with that chance slime on the final turn and he did win. If you enjoyed this, I really recommend my video where we play through Bowser's Birthday Cake and Mario Party Superstars. It is a fantastic remake of Peach's Birthday Cake. I hope y'all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you and take care everybody.